we'll just start with a general chat about how you, you're finding things at the moment. Not been the, the greatest start to 2021 results-wise, has it? How have you found it performance-wise? No, I mean, obviously, it's not um, the ideal scenario, not not uh, having a win yet in 2021. But, I mean, performance-wise, I think it, it's 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 shown that we're actually working working well with uh, Carlos and his ideas are coming through. And, I mean, the performances are out there, so hopefully the results start coming up. Do you enjoy the type of football you're trying to play at the moment? We know when it clicks, it can be fantastic. Obviously, like you say, not necessarily clicking at the moment for results, but it, it can be quite attractive to watch. What's it like to play? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it suits me quite well. It's a very uh, high-intensity, high-running um, uh, way of playing. So, And we, we see a lot of the ball as well, so it, it's good because I think last season it was very high-intensity and high-running, but it was more off the ball than on it, but... Uh, this season it's a lot on it so we're obviously improving as players and it's, it's a great way to play and that's what you're there for isn't it you want to be on the ball especially as a midfielder like yourself you want to be on it you want to be trying to dictate the play yeah definitely when we talk about goals in this side there's been a lot of people saying there aren't enough goals you're not scoring enough goals simple as that creating a lot of chances not scoring enough how much does that burden land on you guys in the midfield as well it's not all about the strikers is it no, definitely not. I mean, as a as a team, I think we're not a team that has an out and out goal scorer. Uh, we maybe did last season, but this season we have to create a lot of chances to maybe get the get the one or two goals that that we need in the game. But um, sometimes our own mistakes, because obviously we try to play out from the back a lot, and our own mistakes can can hinder us because we have to create maybe fifteen chances or one or two goals. And you are creating those chances, though, aren't you? Those chances are being brought to fruition. You just need to put them in the back of the net. Whoever it is who's on the end of them, it's, what's that come down to? Is that composure? Is that anxiety at the time? What do you think it is? No, I don't, I don't think it's any of that. I just think maybe um, when when we are playing, obviously we're creating a lot of chances, but to put them in the back of the net, that's probably the hardest thing in football to be able to, to then finish them off. Um, maybe we we sometimes over, overplay them chances or the final pass just isn't right. It's just perfecting that through training and it, it coming into in the games. Dwayne Holmes was brought in, in in January. How have you found working with him so far? Yeah, he's a, he's a great he's a great guy um, and obviously a great footballer. So it's nice to have um, someone else in the camp that, that likes playing the football that we play. Is he a similar player to you? From the outside, it would look like he is. But but tell us a bit about the similarities and differences in terms of your game. Yeah, I'd say I'd say he's very similar to me. But um, obviously, on the opposite side, um, he's he's a very technical player. Maybe I'm I'm more of a defensive player, not not as probably technical as him is he's probably a bit more attacking than I am so it's nice to have someone else that you can play off that has the same amount of energy as me and that, that has a bit, a bit of technical ability as well and do you think that it is something such as a relationship that will grow get better the more you play with each other does it come down to that do you feel as well yeah 100 percent. I mean it's already there in the change room and around the uh the, the training ground with with everybody not just with me it's, it's come in and it's fit it's fit straight in so, I mean, as, as time goes on, hopefully it will get better on the pitch as well. How big a threat do you and the squad feel relegation is right now? Um, we don't, to be fair. <laughs> Just focusing on every every game as it comes. So, we're not really thinking about relegation. We're thinking about ourselves and obviously just getting the points on the board as, as every game comes. How much do you need to get some points on the board this weekend then against a, a Wickham side who are below you in the table and will certainly be looking to try and drag you back towards them? Yeah, I mean, no matter what team you play, uh, Whenever you play them, obviously getting three points every game is our main aim. So uh, obviously there might be a bit more pressure from the outside, but I don't think we're really feeling that in the inside because we're just focusing on um, where Carlos wants us to play and the way that we want to play to get the three points. How difficult a side are they? Do you feel when you played them earlier this season? Oh, definitely. They're they're um, they're a side that plays different football to probably anyone in the league. They're very physical. They're very direct and. Um, They've got the players to be able to play that well, so we just have to adapt to try and uh, defend that well and then play our own way when we're on the ball. 